Hello guys, welcome back to our Factory campaign. I'm Glenn and I'm just streaming and playing this game for fun. Uh, how are you guys doing? Uh, where we la we're going to continue where we last left things off. Uh, which was, uh, we are on the brink of exterminating uh, cultists from the map. And we are working on exterminating uh, Chimerian with the last settlement and their one or two big armies. And after that, we are going to take a fight with Royal Cis Scythia. And after that, we need to decide what we're going to do. And I see over here, Muscat has lost his foothold. So there, everything is back to normal. Um, we do need to make a decision what do we do. Do we want to go to Armenia and capture this whole area first? So we have one. Uh, big chunk of empire. Of the way, gonna go and stomp some barbarians and go uh, to Swabia first, or down to Illyria, or down to Macedon and Greece. So, that is something we need to consider um, after this. So, and hopefully, in this episode or in this last part of the stream, we can take Pontocastia and Bosporus. Uh, so we can have a foothold and so we can have the decision of where we want to go and also pull everything back and start to stomp Armenia to the ground uh, get a total control of Parthia, Aria versus but that's what everyone would do with, with a, with a backtrack campaign what I would like to do, I think I would go over here See if we can stomp some barbarians over here and then go back. See what Rome is doing. Okay, let's let's not jump too far ahead. Uh, we were almost ready to end the end the turn, I believe. Have an army with ready for battle. Um. We do have a little bit of an army if they attack me straight away. And we're going to end the turn. Or no, are not going to. And you guys are going for the campaign. Campaign net movement rage. The word I struggle a lot with, apparently. And here we are. Good that we got another army set up here. Um, <laughs> Your witch in the chat says, Why play back to when you can play Rome chats? Well, Rome is basically overpowered as hell. And uh, Rome is. Uh, I played a lot of uh, side on the. On the Western side of things. Oh, let me tell you. Let me see. Um, I'm just. I'm not gonna fight this one. I can get this done pretty easily. Um, let me explain to you why I like to. Uh, why I like to play Bactria instead of Rome. After this, uh, end turn. John Rich, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing, my guy? Um, I dare not ask much for my people. What do they want? They Only want a defense a alliance. Payment. No, I don't want that. Let me tell you why I don't like to play as Rome. Because, first of all, uh, this game is so old. Everybody has played Rome. Uh, everybody has done a campaign on Rome. And so did I, my first one, actually. Uh... But what you see, the most factions you can play are in this vicinity of a map. You have you have Rome, you have Egypt, you have Carthage, uh, Athens, Mac Macedon, Thrace, uh, the Averni, Iceni. All of it you play in this part of the map, and it's all a little bit of the the same types of units, uh, the same swordsmen, the same slingers, uh, all that kind of stuff. So. 
uh, I wanted to do for a change is go east. This is a part of the map where I haven't been a lot. Uh, that's because I always play, I always conquer first the, the western half of the map. And this, this is forces me to play a really different style of the game. Uh, because they have a lot of horse archers, which you don't see in the in the western half of the of the world. Uh, and I do, I thought it would be a nice challenge. Um. He's saying I hate this nation at the end game, and that's when you fight against it or when you play as it. It's such a minor faction. Yeah, and you start as a minor faction, indeed. But if you had if you had any say in this, what would you like to see? Would you like to see another campaign um, where we focus on the western half, like uh, Macedon or? Or a rogue campaign. Because I am fading, which I start. No, I'm, I'm really, I'm genuine, uh, genuinely uh, curious about your opinions. As, as I'm streaming for, for the guys who are watching this, so uh, don't be afraid, give your opinion. Uh, what do you want to see? Um, I do want to play as Bactria, um, and I explained earlier in the stream uh, what my plan was for Bactria. And we have the option to uh, consolidate East, but what I thought would be more fun is we could see if we can go uh, West, North, through Swabia, and pretty much, or ramp through Dacia, Pannonia see what Rome is doing so we have a little bit of confrontation early on with Rome and that way I'll make it hard for myself because I have two or three fronts which I'm fighting in yes yes that would be a fun campaign uh, it would be a hard one uh, you say only uh, uh, for the people who are watching this on YouTube, just let me uh, phrase what Jorn said. He said the Brit, Brit campaign is a hardcore one. Uh, they have the least amount of tech and lack armor. Most of their units are light ships or inferiors. Uh, it means it's power in numbers and only the best player can do it. Yeah, you're right. Uh, and I'm willing to try it. Uh, but I can't guarantee if I can beat it. Because, like you said, only the best players can do it, and I, I am a decent player, but I don't consider myself one of the best players. Um, that's the uh, But yeah, uh, I will be streaming uh, next Friday. Um, so if you want to if you want to follow me on Twitter at Lennon133, uh, you get the notification when I'm going live uh, with the timestamps and so. Uh, but if you're down, I'm willing to try to start a prison campaign to see where we can get from there. And if you like what I'm playing, uh, follow me on Twitch. Uh, become a member of the channel. Um, I don't have anything really set up, so you can just follow me. And we'll see where that leads. And if you are, if you missed the stream on Friday, um, I will be uploading everything I stream. I will be uploading it to YouTube uh, on my channel at Letter Thirteen, uh, so you can always uh, watch it back and see what you missed. See if I did any, any anything good. Um, but for now, because uh, we don't, we have a little bit of time left to play. I'm gonna continue with this one yeah I'm pretty new to streaming this uh, I started like one or two weeks ago um, but I am not the best uh, if, you can, if you can tell my English is not the best as well but I'm trying 
Um, I wanted to stream for quite some time, but didn't really know how to get into it. Um, and for me it's pretty difficult because I do have a regular day job. Um, for the guys watching, I'm just gonna steamroll for Sophia for a moment while we talk in the chat. Um, so, I do have a regular day job, which um, is a bit of a problem, so I don't stream regularly. Uh, am I aware of Rome to War Remastered? Hell yeah, I am. Um, bro <laughs> Road to, uh, first Rome Total War is the game that got me into playing uh, Total War at all. So I already have it installed and bought. Uh, I don't, I don't just don't have the early access to it. So when it comes out, I believe it's the 29th of April, whenever that is. That will be probably next week. Uh, so when it's out, I'm definitely gonna play it. I'm definitely gonna stream it and upload it to YouTube. Um, the only problem is I'm gonna need to find some time. I think um, Bjorn asks, I wonder how it will compare to Rome 2. I think it will... I think it doesn't. I think you can't really compare the games because they're so... So different uh, in, in in periods, like see what time. Uh, but I think it will be very very nostalgic, just to play uh, like uh, like Broody Eye or like Skippy Eye again, uh, or the Julie Eye. Uh, I always prefer the Julie Eye in that uh, in that opinion. Uh, and I think I'm going to start a Julie Eye campaign. So it, it will be very nostalgic. Um, and otherwise, for this one, just let's just end the turn and see where we go. And I'm very, very excited for Rome 2. So I'm definitely gonna find some time to stream it. And as I've done with all my thing, all my uh, streams, I will upload it to my channel. So you can watch it there as well. Uh, get some extra tax rate over here. Uh, but how are you doing? Uh, Jorn says there are two different. There are two different breeds, two different engines, two different mechanics. Uh, I like Attila better than Barbarian Evasion. Yes, I can. I can relate to that. Uh, he says, I will go straight on to Barbarian Invasion to play the Saxons. This is my far my favorite campaign. The title is just a little more modernized. Yes, um, to be quite honest, I never really played Barbarian Invasion because I had the, the, the original Rome Total War on disc, so I never really bought the DLC. Um, but I will definitely be playing uh, the, the normal game and the uh, and the barbarian invasion and also yes i can relate to that yeah it was didn't really uh, keep up with everything historically in round two war that's that's agreeable uh attila uh i didn't play attila much because my pc at the time couldn't handle it but I'm really debating if I should start uh, a campaign on that as well. I will be honest. Because I, I really like coin, uh, token of your both those games, and, and I would want to get in of the, both those games. Uh, what is this? Ness? Yes, I wasn't expecting this. Uh, Chimera attacks us in our little town that we left undefended. Jordan, how are you, my man? What uh, what do you play most? Or what do you like to watch on uh, on streams? Come, profit from no, this. Still not going to wallet swords.
Come to all the result for this. I'm good. I like what you're saying. Yorn says, um, the Five cap game, single core performance to get cap. Yeah, I see what you mean. And it would be nice in the, indeed to have a, a more modernized version of Run to the War because it, for its time, it was a great game. Um, so it would be nice to have it reinstated a bit of the the, the glory, older glory that it deserves. Um, definitely. And Attila, yeah, I, I'm really going to uh, see if I can start at Attila campaign as well. Yeah, plans requires more skill. Armies cannot endlessly march, they need food. Yes, that is a very good point in Attila. Uh, you need to really uh, take care of your armies. And I really like that one as well. Uh, I'm not really familiar with the... Uh, with the mechanics yet of that, so this is gonna be a lot, of, a little bit of a trial and error uh, when we get there. But it's gonna be pretty fun just to see what we can, what we can do in a in a tele campaign. Um. Maybe. Uh, I can see what we can do. Just let me check something. Because uh, I would like to have you here uh, next Friday, if you can, just to watch the stream. Uh, but what would you prefer? I played Saxons on a 12 units, three quarters wide out, low number, suffering of famine, and a plague. <laughs> so that's that camp. Camp outside a room, crumbling force. In the northern UK, the siege went on for 12 turns. Damn. Yes. Yeah, of course it's your opinion, but it, it will be very interesting to see that in it. Especially uh, when, uh, when it's more realistic. Um, but what would you like to see? Would you like to see me start a, a Attila campaign? Or a prison campaign and war because I would be down just to start a, a total campaign oh yes I will definitely uh uh, continue with this one in time uh, but I am debating just to start uh, a new one uh, just to see <laughs> I know I know uh, no worries no worries there but I'm uh, expanding myself into a more uh, streamer like person so I uh, do want to know what my audience would like to watch and for today it's just a small stream but uh, next friday i will be streaming from like uh, probably 9 a.m to 4 p.m so that's uh, a lot of time and i believe in that time we can uh, play two games three games maybe um so and to spend like six seven hours on one campaign it's a bit much for me um uh, i usually on my day on the days i stream all day i play two or three games and um, last day we played a little bit of this and a little bit of satisfactory uh, but satisfactory i find a little bit harder to stream than rome because 
You have to be way more. You have to think of a way more uh, things to talk about, and in uh, uh, and in this game, in Rome Two and other strategy games, it really comes more natural to me. Um, to get back to the game, uh, we lost tennis, net, but they are pretty weak. So I'm going to get some extra cavalry, and we're going to stomp here in next turn. Uh, we took Soklova, Solokar. And you have a little bit of an army over here, not that quite large. Um, you guys are good. Uh, next turn, we'll push you up and we'll push this one up to Obia. Um, this one's good. We do have a good economy. Public order is getting better everywhere. You guys are just dead because of a cop. And down here we have nothing much can upgrade. Oh, so very nice talking with you, uh, Jorn. Don't know if you're still in the stream or if you went. Um, who is attacking me? Colsus is attacking me in Panoria. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to only resolve this. Probably better than when I fight it on my own. Um, I'm going to release them because they're dead, anyways. If you strike. That's a mouse gun. No, thank you. Agent detained. Mission successful. What we got? That's your. Wow, they replenished quick. You have some Bactrian. You have cavalry to deal with their archer, no! and I do have enough swingers to deal with their hot blocks. They have a fight. Yeah, we're going to fight this one. Um, let me just check how far we are. We recording. Yes, we can fight this one. I think we can do this. Testing my camera a little bit too. Up. Yes, that's better. Um, no, we don't want rain. Yes, we want a nice and dry environment. Um, slingers. This is a nice great town. Fight to um, phalanx. Um. I want you guys on the bank. No, I think we need you for some recharges. Cavalry. General, noble horse archer. Um, let's see what we can do. They've got reinforcements from the side, but that's only one cavalry unit. Enemy reinforcements approaching. All right. Um, over there. Let's see if I can get them with my horse archers. Uh, I want to do on um, heavy shot. Slingers! Slingers 
Uh, try to come in range. Yes. To command. Our citizens cap. Our general is under attack. Citizen cavalry. General. And now, yes, they're going to destroy my back chains. That's okay on that side. And that's one general dead. My pipes are in pipe formation. And winners. Where are you? That monster's paper. You guys are dead. Focus on the horse archer. Advance at speed! Melee cavalry! Hot! That's shattered! Advance at speed! There's that one. General! Orders understood! General, I need them really bad before they get into my lines. At least only the one, okay. Let's turn back, face the music of the players. And let's do it. See if we can get them on the flanks. White men are holding steady. I need you more to the front so you can guys any of these swingers. I'm gonna try if I can get through. Uh, probably won't be. Got the Noble Horse Archer first, get them out of the way. Delicious is taken. The enemy general is dead. The enemy general is dead. That's good. Guys, targeting the swingers. Okay guys, I'm gonna keep stop firing and I'm gonna stop firing for I don't want them running anywhere. Guys, come here. Um, I'm careful, my lady. Back to my horse. I'm willing to sacrifice one. The battle is turning in our favor. One volley of this. Come on. One volley. And there uh, were 50 men dead. <laughs> nice. Was a quick battle. I only lost 200 men. They lost 2,000 men. That's what we like to see. Um, 
and we're going to occupy this again and is that the end of no it's not the end of Amira yet missile captors they look like quite a cool extra tactics perfect I don't want to I don't I don't want those well well we're spiking a little bit on the economy uh, I don't To fight this one is our armor force archers, force archers. Hello, Kasada. Hi, man. What's up? Welcome to the stream. I need an opinion. I'm just gonna put you on the spot. Do you want to fight this one or not? I have done this a couple times against all the horse archers. They like to see them die, but. It's your call, uh, Milo. I may call you that. Or did I put you too much on the spot? Um, what is our auditor's so A 487. Uh, more than 10 units, I'll fight it myself, so let's fight this one. Hi Nilo Kasada, how are you my man? Welcome to the stream. If you want to know what we did in the last couple of hours when we streamed, when we started this campaign, um, you can always check my YouTube channel, which is in the description uh, of my channel info. Um, I upload. I have uploaded my stream footage uh, on my YouTube channel, Atlanta 13, so you can watch it there. And if you want to join the streams more often, um, you can follow me on Twitch, so you get a notification when I'm live. And you can follow me on Twitter, Atlanta 133, uh, to see. Uh, and there I post uh, updates on when I'm going live. I could tell you this little secret, I'm going live next Friday, coming Friday, with a continuation of this campaign and the start of a new campaign. And it's gonna be a little bit of a secret if it's a new to Rome 2 campaign, uh, maybe even an Attila campaign, because uh, we talked about that with uh, another couple of people in the chat. Um, let's see how we're doing this. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Um, Bactrians. Swordsman, a little bit more Citizen in the flanks. There's a calf. Let's go. General, over there is an army of fools brought to the field of death. Um, let's move a little bit forward. Hi, Kasada, how have you been enjoying the streams lately? Just gonna fast forward this bit over there. Uh, okay, let's pause this for a minute. I need to adjust my lines. I'm gonna readjust where I'm at so I can like quickly. Um, and then here, you guys over here, three here, this uh, um, here, and the cavalry. To on the flank, 
I really need to have my archers and my slingers in position before they can attack me. I think they're just going to be position. Are we missing any units? You can, can get a little bit of this side. Maybe start shooting from this angle. Oh, many horses. Thank you for the follow, Nyla. And, uh, I saw you earlier. Uh, saw earlier that you followed me on uh, on my Twitch. So welcome. Hope to have you in here more often. Slingers, as you wish. Citizen cavalry. Um. are in balance yes that's one and here we go orders my lord right man polak sword run donian riders they're dead It's great having a bit of correct swords on the on the flanks instead of Bactrian and Hillman. The swordsman they can take a take a little bit more arrow farmers. They have a bit bigger shields, more armor. That's one unit dealt with. A little bit further forward. Have room? Fire? Nope. There's a little bit more. And my pikes, yeah, they can take a beating. I don't really care about those. They're pulling back. They're pulling forward. Guys, over this way. So we can get those horse, uh, armored horse out here. Because they are going to get problems. You have precision shot, and you can see the damage it does to my swords. 30 dead, and it's gonna take one or two, two or three shots before they take damage from my slingers, because they're armored horse archers. And we're firing through the, through the, through the trees.
one is going down quick. That they're intertwined with it. Hundred men. Yeah. If you can use them effectively, these horse archers are pretty good. And I'm probably gonna start using some horse archers when we gotta when we have to deal with more um, steady factions like Rome or Barbarians with a lot of more infantry focused. So we can get them around on the flanks and start shooting. The battle is turning in our Definitely uh, against Rome. They have heavy army units, so we need a little more heavy shot at, uh, archers. Fire on the enemy! One more, one more swing on this one. They're dead. One good volley and they're gone as well. Hold men! Our hidden units have been discovered. Now they're gonna bring in the, the rain. Citizen cavalry. Forward! Polak swordsman! By your command! Pack them down! Back! Commander! Back now! Cut our advance! Oh, Swiss. Back to back. At the double! Swift riders at your command! Slingers! Ready! Citizen Cavalry! We are at your command! Fire the units. These young axes are, won't be a problem for my fight. Going down very quickly. Speed it up a little bit. Maybe speed it up a lot. This is just going to be an archer engagement. The enemy general, enemy is, general dead. is dead. You guys. And we're going to add the end over there. Banas. We killed Banas. Archer is doing exceptionally well, but the source did get a little bit of a beating. But they're fine. They'll be okay. You guys are going, probably going to die. And Your next money. And then we get some extra we ranks. We are going to the Make haste, damage. Commander. You have any. We, so we need another turn to get to Olvia. We have streaming and streaming for quite some time. I've been streaming for nearly three hours. That's very nice. Oh, uh, 
I have another bank to go. Um, I think we almost have, we have the most important ones. Enables knife battles. That's could be useful. Then we get in bigger situations. Um, eight percent upkeep. 10% ammunition. That's great for horse archer. Good. Dying. Dead. And some stuff here. What is it? Order. Minus. Kill these two. I have no loss. I don't think I'm That's okay. Um, yeah, let's convert this to a harbor. If you have enough food, I think. It's not a harbor, and I need to get this. Uh, okay, let's have to turn. They want the peace. Spirits tell us. No, thank you. Your words carry a weight of sadness. I hope your gods gave you wisdom in this choice. Yes, they did. They gave me a lot of wisdom. If you strike. The blow will be unexpected, and all the stronger. Ah, they got it back. Can you not march? No, I'm not joining the war. Which actually started as my war. Get it back, I see. Not for long, though. In agriculture, or do we go with the market? Ready for battle. Advance. Come on the road again. Is there nothing else? Could I have even have more reason? Sir. Oh, oh no, Dacia. Oh, see, they own uh, another region in Dacia, so that's a clue for us to just continue to go uh, west. Commander. So with those two armies, um, we can do. Ready for orders. We go javelin. Um, guys are all better, so we need good fighters. Do the fight. Armia and we have provisions. Yes, we do. That's good, so Armenia is a little bit our, our border, our friendly border, so we can expand westwards. That's definitely what we're going to do. Uh, that was fine, so. And waiting. Uh, what's this? End of turn. Sorry. We'll keep it like this for a couple of turns, see what our food situation does. And if it's still good. My people. 
we can uh, we can up the temples. And the slave have their own settlement. Um, I'm going for some uh, research. I can probably use that since we have no speed at all in researching some of our text. Uh, Food is going down, so like I said, we're just gonna at this current situation for a little bit longer. So if we can get Obia, like uh, which we don't need to fight, we can make this a new food settlement. Mine's 44. Okay. So Petrodova is the only one they have left. We are. What are they doing so far? East. We start over here. Oh, I'm very excited to see what. Everything just as empty as Bergamon. That's not really surprising because in my last campaigns, Hope Diva is still on Sparta, not Macedon. I'm interested how the world is shaped around here. Treading soft. You have one army that we start with starting to recruit some units. Yeah. You notice how I messed up my words there? <laughs> and we have five slingers with the extra slingers. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going for nearly three hours. Um. Maybe one more turn, and we'll probably end the stream for now. So for agriculture, who this? Everything takes two. In Olia, if it gets uh, another ten. Another uh, seven, another seventeen food, and we can up this one, and we can up this one. That's minus eight, and we get seventeen back in the long run. That's okay. That's a very, I mean, ah. uh, let's end the turn one more, one of two more times, and then we'll call it a quit for today. Uh, we're doing Martial progress. Um, I'm happy populous. Yeah, yes, we knew. Really care about that. Uh, it's normal, and we are much consolidated here. I want to see if I can wipe them out. So we end our stream with zero real threats. Yeah, we do have, I wouldn't say wars, but we have one Chimera fleet where we all with. And a 
king of Royal Sophia, where we probably will be moving. Hellenic rebel army has taken a city and has a force. We hunger for battle. Um, I do want some cavalry. Do we want elephants? That is the question. Yes, but only if we can use them against barbarians. So okay. And um, um, so we have three, four, and uh, four is enough. Um, and some more slingers. So we have four slingers, four, three cavalry units, one elephant, three swords. So we can do other. Um, And um, maybe serious cares for cavalry purposes. So that's another twenty stack. Our objectives to get that will be in faction and life force. Probably last, won't last. Architectural advances that is probably. Uh, actual advances is this one. So after we've done this, uh, we're going for this so we can get some extra money. Thirty-five hundred. Need five more. Uh, I don't think we can get there in time, but we'll see. Next turn. Eight thousand turn uh, income per turn. Very nice. Sithia, Sithia beam, what of a nuisance. Carrion birds and jackals will grow fat on your carcasses. Why? And lose the taste for your rancid flesh. This brings a little bit of a problem. Being as though they are defensive allies with Armenia, so Armenia is not going to like me very much. Glory, wealth, and uh, a place in the history. An alliance. All of no. I would like an alliance with Armenia. The Welcome, honored emissary. Speak, oh. and I will answer Impulsive. with my master's voice. Why aren't they happy with me? I have four going on with that person. A second. Um, let's get to this one. For what they are. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and you definitely temple. Um, um, because nice. Um, Sweet. yes, I'm gonna leave it here. Because I really would like to know what you guys want to see do see me do next. We have a couple of options. Um, we have the option to consolidate ourselves in barbarian territory over here in the the west and north northwest. Uh, we have a chance to go dump on these suckers. This media at me, uh, they declared war on us and they are allies with Armenia, so Armenia isn't going to like it very much. So we could, we could pull back and consolidate here. And then even fight Parthia or leave this what it is and go here, or we can leave um, Media for what it is and go down south, Thrace, Macedonia, Athens, and then go back here so we can so we can get them in that way. 
little bit of a pinch and go here a little bit and go down here. So that's probably what I want to what is, that's what I want to know from you guys. So with that said, I'm going to save our stream session with 74 75 turns on the clock. And I'm going to thank you all for watching, uh, watching the videos or watching the stream. And hopefully I'll see you guys next Friday uh, on my stream and we'll continue this. And we'll start a new campaign for maybe Rome 2, maybe uh, uh, Attila. We'll see, we'll see what, we're, what the people want and where I, what I want. Um, so for the last time, uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Lena133. Uh, to keep keep you updated on when I'm streaming next, when I'm posting videos, etc. Um, for the people on YouTube, if you want to see me live, uh, come hang out in the chat. Follow me uh, on Twitch at Lena13, um, and get a, become a member of the chat of the of the channel so you get a notification when I'm going live. And for the people on stream who I want to watch something back, uh, follow me on YouTube at Lena13. There I will post everything I stream. So, 